ladies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who's new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. Okay sweeties, welcome to today's video which is going to be a lifestyle video. Uh, so we want to talk about again weight loss today because that has been very very popular and I know that there is a big big need in this world because a lot of people are struggling, not only women but probably uh, like largely women because I don't know why. Yeah, I know why. But anyway, so that is what it is and that's what we're going to do today. But before we go into today's topic, I just want to tell you that if you have anything in particular that you want me to address in these kinds of videos, then please let me know in the comment section down below because last time I got the request to do a video about portion sizes and I'm working on it. Just so you know, it's coming. It's just that I have to do a little bit more. I want to be more prepared. Okay, I just, I cannot, for that, I cannot just sit down and start filming because I want to give you real examples and like something in your hands sort of that you can actually use. So but for today this is a very very unprepared video because it just happened. <laughs> The trigger for this video just happened and I just had to, I didn't want to film today, which is so funny when people say that, but in this case it's really true. I had no no plan of filming today. I wanted to actually spend my whole morning editing new makeup releases and stuff like that because that is like a monster, but um, it just happened. So I got a message. I got a message from my sister-in-law. She's running a business, um, doesn't matter, but she has someone that is working with her or that she's the boss of. And um, she said, Leora, can you please tell me what to do? I have this co-worker or this whatever employee. And she says to me, she has been starving herself for about one week. She does not uh, lose any weight. So what what can I tell her? What What's going on? And I'm like, really? Is that a, is that a trick question? Is there a hidden camera somewhere? Are there people who are still thinking that they can starve themselves and lose weight? Really? I mean, I, I don't know anything about the background story of that person who is dieting like, like that, like a mad person. But sweeties, we cannot do that. We can seriously not do that. Um, and I also want to back that up with something that I'm constantly hearing in therapy and also in self-help groups that I have been in previously, because this is what I hear all the time, but I still cannot believe that this is still reality for a lot of people. Now, I have done diets, diets, like this when I was maybe, I don't know, 14 and every one of my girlfriends had a boyfriend, but I didn't because I was fat, you know? I tried to starve myself and I thought at some point someone is going to love me if I just starve myself enough. But sweeties, this is not how it works. And the worst thing is, it gets worse. Yes, the worst or the, the thing that makes it even worse is that the more you do that, because you'll, you'll drop from that plateau. You will drop from it and then you will start eating again and then you will be so starved that you're going to like put everything into your mouth, whatever you can find, whatever crosses your path, okay? And then the next time you think you have to starve yourself, it's going to be even worse because your body has a memory effect. You know, your body remembers stuff like this. And if you do that a couple of times, you will really, really, mess up your metabolism and and your body you know your the way your body trusts you you know that's this might sound like completely bogus to you but sweeties there is a thing you know that the second your body entrusts you your i don't know your spirit or your whatever it is i don't know that the word to to say what i what i mean I'm so sorry but the the second your body knows that it is safe with you, that you're taking care of it, that second your body will start to relax and will actually start to let go of those pounds or kilos that um, he's trying to hold on to just in case because he cannot trust you. You know what I mean? So back to this person, uh, the employee of my, my sister-in-law. So what am I going to tell this person? You know, I, I answered her, I answered her immediately. And it is so funny because a lot of people are turning to me now for weight loss advice. And this is like, wow, <laughs> think mind boggling. I love it. It's just that I, I always think like, why me? You know, who am I? Like, what, had, what do I have to say? But um, this is just my own self doubt that I have, but I actually do have something to say about this. And you know, so anyway, that is what it is. So I answered her and I said to her, please tell her to stop that right now. 
because it is absolutely no surprise that your body will not let go of anything once it is in that panic mode because sweeties if we do that we are putting our body into a warlike panic mode and this is not what we want to do you know if we want to lose weight we want to actually honor our body and be nice to ourselves and love ourselves through this whole process we cannot do it by force and or by tricking ourselves or trying to trick our body now I know that a lot of people a lot of people probably like 90% of people who are who want to lose weight are doing it because there is some kind of event coming up where they need to fit in a certain dress or in a certain suit or this or that a wedding of a child or who knows what right this is how it is the second you know your child gets married you think wow I'm the, the mother of the bride I better look stunning on those pictures and I better have a dress that hugs my body and all of that right so people go into this and they know they have another four months or however long to lose weight and they're starting to treat themselves like garbage and that is not the way to do it because listen it is the truth that after that event is over even if even let's say even if you get that far that you actually fit into that dress on the evening of the event you will start stuffing your faces stuffing your faces with everything that is being served at the event okay and then after that it'll continue because you're going to eat all the leftovers and you're going to just go into this and it's going to snowball and snowball and then you're going to end up worse than before worse in the sense of probably having the same weight again that you had before probably with more weight added to it you will feel like a failure and you will treat yourself with not really with self-respect after that you know plus you will have messed up your whole metabolism and your the, your body trust I'm just gonna call it that way because I don't know how else to call it you're going to have ruined your metabolism and your body trust because you did it again you tr again treated yourself like this you again forced your body into this panic warlike mode okay so how are we gonna do it what did I tell that person I told her from now on eat every three hours don't starve yourself i try to explain to her or i try to explain to my sister-in-law so she can explain it to that other woman i try to explain that the second you start starving your body is going into panic your body is going to try to hold on to everything that it has stored and yes maybe you have a condition that that like prevents proper release of, of your fat reserves and stuff like this but still this is like the overall picture you know from for some people it works a little bit better for some people it works a bit like less you know but still it always works this is the whole principle how the body works if the body is in stress and in panic mode it will not release fat it will not go into this that it says you know I'm I am okay I'm gonna be okay so let's get rid of all this excess fat because I don't need it because the person that lives in me is actually taking care of me and I can trust that person to give me food every three hours or every four hours whatever every two and a half hours whatever I eat every three hours this is like a religious practice that I eat every three hours that doesn't mean that I sit down and have a huge meal every three hours but I offer something an offering of love to my body every three hours so my body knows yes Leora I can trust I can trust her to take care of me there is never going to be a situation where I have to starve where I have to panic where I have to fear that nothing else is coming in so I can actually let go of what I have put everywhere you know all the excess fat so let me tell you now I'm filming this when am I filming this sort of at the end of the first week of July 2000 2020 just if you're seeing this later or I also don't know when this video is going to go up so I'm going to film this I think it's the 8th the 8th of July 2020 I started to go back to therapy after having fallen off the wagon during the breakout of the corona crisis I fell completely off the wagon I ate everything that came into my way uh, horrible so I went back to therapy I think in April I have lost 10 kilos since then since April okay so that is 10 kilos in three months which is really really good and I'm not telling you this in order to say oh, I'm still the best no 
I'm not. I'm absolutely not. And I am struggling with this. Yes, I do have the success, but I'm struggling with making myself go there, making myself get there. You know, it is not easy for me either, but I'm stubborn enough and loving enough to do it without excuses. You know, if you don't know what I'm talking about or what I'm referring to, I have a playlist on my channel. You can find it. It's the weight loss, I think, um, playlist. You will find it and then you can go and uh, watch it the, the other videos that I've done in that series and then you will know. So anyway, um, this is what it is. You know, there is success if you actually treat yourself with love. Now, I also have heard that it Im really, really helps immensely to, at the end of the day, take off your clothes and stand in front of the mirror and see yourself with all your flaws flaws okay without makeup without everything and just tell yourself I love you you have brought me to where I am now you're carrying me every single day talk to your body and tell yourself tell your body that you love this body now this is the hardest thing for me because as you know I'm a perfectionist and I when I look at myself even now and even when everybody tells me wow Leora you look so beautiful and you're such an inspiration everything I see when I sit down and look at the footage now that I'm filming I will probably see everything that is not perfect I will probably see that I don't know maybe I have some lipstick on my teeth or I will see that I'm not perfectly centered in in the frame of my camera or I I look down too much or I look up too much or I don't know this is what I see just as an example of looking at the good or looking at the failures or the flaws okay these are things that you probably don't even see about me you know that I'm looking up too much or down too much or whatever or I'm using my hands too much you know <laughs> you know this is probably what you don't even see but I see it and that is sometimes all I see so when I then get your feedback and you tell me well Leora this was so amazing and whatever not fishing for it just saying you know that this is what what's happening then I think wow this is actually how other people see me and this is a thing that should also happen to our body because I do believe that our body has ears not only these, but the ears of the soul. And when you tell your body, I love you. I love you that you provided a home for my seven children. I know that it has done damage to you. I know that it has used you and maybe in some cases abused you. But you have given me so, so much. You have carried me through being overweight, through being severely underweight. You have carried me through, I don't know, this and that and the other thing. And I love you for this. Are you a photoshopped picture perfect body? No absolutely not do you have to be no absolutely not and I'm also preaching this to myself now because I already told you I have the hardest time doing this you know so in and it even gets harder when you touch yourself while you're doing this when when you think well my 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 upper arms are really really you know lagging and, and I don't know fat whatever and you touch your upper arms and you say well these arms are so good for hugging my children you know these arms are made to give a home and to give love and to just embrace people and to embrace I don't know you know as an example for me it is absolutely hard because it is very very hard for me and that is due to my my eating disorder and everything the body dysmorphia that has gone gone on in in connection to that and it is very very hard for me to be physical in that way and to accept me okay um, but I'm trying I'm trying and I'm just sharing that as an example of giving your body this love you know and this body trust because this is the first thing you need to tell your body and you need to make your body feel because words are cheap can be cheap okay so uh, you may have to sort of prove to your body that yes you are going to be in charge and you are going to take care of that body that is entrusted to you okay so that's what I'm doing I'm eating my breakfast I'm eating a small meal in between breakfast and lunch I'm eating my lunch I'm eating a small meal between lunch and dinner and then I'm eating my dinner and that is an important important thing and when I hear things like I skipped breakfast and I skipped you know dinner and whatever and I'm still not losing weight sweeties this is not the way to do it please don't skip meals. Your body will feel like you're cheating him. 
it is not the way to do it. You might lose a little bit here and there, but this is not weight that is going to stay off because your body will think the second you feed yourself again, I cannot trust this person to give me more food. So it's going to put everything that you just fed yourself with in those places where you actually wanted to lose the weight. I hope that makes sense because it really, it does make sense. It's very, very logical. We as people would just, um, just like that, we would also react like that. If someone is in charge of us, just, re just imagine you are a child and your mom only gives you food once a day. Would you then stuff your face the time that you're getting food or would you think, ah, oh, I'm just going to eat a normal portion because in 24 hours I'm going to get the next food? doesn't make sense, right? Your body needs to know that there is always going to something that keeps the fire burning, that keeps the metabolism going, that triggers this whole me me mechanism in your body to keep your, your, I don't know, everything moving, you know? And then in addition to that, what I told her too is get moving. You cannot starve yourself and just stay in place. You have to feed yourself, right? and then also get your body moving in order to burn the calories and also increase your metabolism. Because especially when you're above the age of 35, 40, your metabolism starts to slow down. Now, this is not an excuse for older people or more mature people or whatever um, to not you know, be at their best shape. We should all be in our best shape. And this is not because I'm promoting body shaming at all. It is because I promote body love. And if we are extremely fat or extremely thin, this is not how we love ourselves. This is not how we love ourselves, sweeties. Okay, we were made, and I've said that before, we were made perfectly. We were created in the womb of our mother in a perfect way. And we were supposed to be the best Okay, and what we are doing to ourselves during a lifetime is we're, we're, do, we're making a lot of harm here. We're bringing a lot of harm to ourselves. And that is just not how it's supposed to be. Now, I know it is hard and it takes a lot of patience. Maybe it also takes longer for you to lose weight like this, but this is the way to do it in order for it to stay off and in order for it to, for you to maintain living like this, because this is not a diet. It has to become a lifestyle. And I know this sounds so like oh god now she's starting with that it has to become a lifestyle but it's true it has to become your second nature that you know that this is how you're going to treat yourself because only then when your body feels that you are real about this and you are earnest about this only then your body will trust you and will start to let go you know and this is this relaxed mode that we need in order to have the weight loss going and to reach a normal weight. I am, as of right now, when I'm filming this, I'm three and a half kilos away from my weight loss goal. And then actually the hard thing starts for me because keeping the weight is for me personally much, much harder than than uh, weight loss because I know how to do it. I know how to do the weight loss. I also know how to do the weight gain way too, way too well. I know that. Um, but I have never really mastered this whole um, staying in balance. And that is my big goal that I'm also going to share here on my channel because I've never managed to do it because yes, I have lost a lot of weight uh, previously, but then after I had reached my weight goal, I was just so scared of not being able to keep it and not being able to like, I don't know, yeah, maintain it, that I just kept losing more and more. And this is how I then went into bulimia and anorexia. So it is a very, very dangerous place for me, a very, a place of high insecurity and high anxiety. And, uh, but this time, this time I want to be in victory. This time I want all of us to be in victory. This time it's going to be real. Okay, so this is what I want to leave you with. I hope this was helpful for you. Please, please treat yourselves with love and respect and don't try to cheat yourself just because there's an event coming up, okay? If you have the event, then buy the dress according to your body. Don't make your body according to the dress, okay? Because you're worth it and you want to be real. And this is also what people are going to see, you know? People will see you on the pictures for what you are, for the real person that is true to herself. And that is worth so much more. It's worth so much more, okay? All right, sweeties, this is it for today. I hope that was good. <laughs>
still so nervous about these videos but anyway I just really really wanted to share that with you if you're new here then please subscribe to my channel I would love to have you here and join of course you can check out all my other content if you just found me I do a lot of beauty content and a little bit of lifestyle so just so you know that this is what I'm doing here and besides that I'm going to see you here all of you next time for my next video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye